Mm -hmm. So Jenny, my question for you is, does your grass hay consistently flake off in really nice solid flakes? Because where we live, we have 13 head of horses, some are wild, and we have to carry four or five flakes out into their pastures. And if you've got loose flakes that just crumble all over the place, I get frustrated, but my husband gets angry. And when he gets angry, we all run. So <laughs> what do you do for that? Well, you be honest. That's what you do. And it really is going to depend on the year, how, hay, how the grass hay is going to turn out. Alfalfa is a lot easier to have an excellent flake. Grass can be challenging because you have to bale it at the right time in the morning and there has to be enough dew for it to stick together. Uh, so like for example, last year I would say half of the grass hay was excellent and the other ha half was what I call exploding hay. And so what do you do when you're somebody who sells hay and you have exploding hay? You tell people it's exploding hay. And what I usually, I don't call it that, you know, when I'm marketing it, but what I do say is this is a number two mix and it has loose flakes. It's a number two because it's excellent hay, but the flakes are very loose and some people don't mind. They would like to save a dollar a bale because they're feeding in the barn anyway and it's not gonna negatively affect them. When we lived out in Dayton, oh, exploding hay, I'm the one, he's pretty calm. I have exploding hay, I'm not a happy camper, so I understand. So we just, you just have to be honest. So you're going to show us what certified uh, certified bale looks like uh -huh. right here too, right? So my husband got down a bale, and you can notice that the center string is going to be a multicolored string like this. Um, it's always going to be your middle string. And then I was just going to pop it open, and we'll get to see if it's exploding. It's It better not be. <laughs> <laughs> so... And this is a mix. And so a uh, mix is easier too, I gotta tell you. So maybe this was an unfair example of not exploding hay, but you can, you know. So you got a nice flake. So when you say mix, um, like I've gotten some mixed hay lately that is, to look at it, you'd think it's all alfalfa and then you can see like your eight strands of grass. And I'm like, oh, so uh, that I don't call it mixed. <laughs> That's so, not what I call mixed. So, but your hay looks beautiful. It looks like it's truly mixed hay. So it depends. So I don't usually, when it's mostly alfalfa with a couple strings of grass, I just say this is alfalfa with some grass in it. it I, what I'm, when I'm talking about mixed, I'm talking either about an 80-20 or a 50-50 or sometimes even a 70-30. And I always use the first number as my grass number. Oh, okay, perfect. So, like, and this one, and again, it's always an estimate, right? So, if you notice, um, and it's got a little bit of flower pods in it, but um, in this one, you can see there's, it's a lot of grass and just a little bit of alfalfa, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's not heavy on the alfalfa. It's probably... 20% alfalfa and the rest is grass. The other thing to know about mix is a lot of people think that mix is the seed, right? So if I put half alfalfa seed and half grass seed, I'll get half and half and it doesn't work that way. In fact, it doesn't even work that way by cutting because it's going to depend on water and heat, oh. right? So alfalfa is going, if it's warm, alfalfa likes that. So the alfalfa is going to take advantage. Whereas earlier in the year, when it's cooler, the grass likes that, so you're gonna get more grass. So you can't really plan on half, half seeds of this and half seeds of that and have it turn out that way. It just doesn't work, so. So um, this is a weed-free bale, which uh -huh. means I could take it into any national parks and I would be, you would be uh, within yeah. regulations, requirements. Does your weed free cost a little bit more than say if I were to just grab, uh, purchase a regular bale of mixed hay? Not with us. Perfect. Perfect. We, we charge Perfect. the same price. And may I ask, what is a mixed bale? Uh, $16.25. Nice. Um, and then we do get weigh tickets and everything so everybody can know. I mean, we don't weigh every time he leaves, but we do weigh a load here and there just to get a feel for it. So usually we run right around 100 pounds. 
sometimes like my husband's not <laughs> real happy because the metal came in real heavy <laughs> which is great for our customers but 115 pound bales are a little bit more challenging and less can go on the truck because we have to watch our weight but um, we try to stay right at 100 but every once in a while our customers get lucky and get 115 pound yeah. bale <laughs> I don't think I have any more questions, do you? No, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for letting thank us come you. out and, and meet you guys in yeah. person and see your facility. It's a beautiful place, even though the grass is dormant. And we're really looking forward to maybe making this a series of um, videos. Like maybe we could come back when you're irrigating. Yeah. And then come back when the grass is starting to grow. Yes. And then maybe even come back and um, have have you guys educate us a little bit about when you decide to cut it and mm -hmm. and things like that. If sure. You're up for that. Definitely, we would love to have you all. I mean, irrigating is my favorite thing, so please come out. You'll Great. Be, you'll you'll feel a peace that is almost just. Uh, there's no words for it. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you again. All right. Well, thank thank you, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.